Wow. So this entire race has been amazing. From beginning to end, there's just been like just a, in, a, an amazing peace an amazing grace behind this entire thing. And so we started, I started this entire process um, after working with my kids in foster care a year ago and then coming back into the communities and seeing what was going on in the districts and seeing that there really wasn't that much representation for these kids or like anything being done. So I sat down, it took me two and a half months, first of all, to decide to run, but even before that, I just had to continue looking to where are the solutions? Where is someone that's going to stand up and say something? Who is actually going to fight for these kids, for the people that want to start businesses, for things that are going on in the country? And I'm looking around, and all my friends were just like, well, those are actually all governmental questions you're asking. And I was like, well, who did you ask the question to? Put me right at them. Let's just do this. And so after a while, it just became very clear. And a lot of my friends were just like, you should, you should run for Congress. And I was like, that's crazy. Why would I do that? Like, who does that? It's just insane. And so. Um, just going through this district and meeting the people, seeing their faces, hearing their voices, and seeing their joys, their pains, and knowing that something has to be done now so that their cycle does not stop. This cycle cannot continue in their lives. So it has been amazing with every single one of you in this room has had a great hand in this entire process, and I am so grateful, you all. I am so, so grateful. Thank you to my mom, who's just like been my running partner. This woman, like she'll just drag me out of the bed. I'm like, I don't want to get up. She's like, get up. We're going to do this thing, which has been so awesome. And Alex is also my boyfriend and campaign manager. He has been like, this man, he like, <laughs> he's like, shy on. they're saying this, they're saying that. I'm going to da 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 whatever. He's like been like this, doing everything is awesome. And then John Darden, like our strategist, this man, it don't make no kind of sense. It don't make no kind of sense. Our meeting was, I, I saw a congressman on a YouTube video, and I said, I want to meet this guy. I don't know who he is, but he is awesome. And so then when Alex went to the White yeah, House. Yeah, I went to the White House. And for a, like a, a week a, later. Yeah, a week later, I said, go find that guy. Get me his information. And then Alex turned around, and the guy was standing right there. Wow. It was craziness. So he goes, oh, my girlfriend's running. She needs you. And I'm like, okay. So I talked to him. He gave me the name of two strategists. I spoke to both of them. And I was like, the first guy is in that. That's not it. And I spoke to John, and I was like, oh, babe, this is the guy. Well, let's go meet him. And we met at a, we, at a, at a Dairy Queen, yes. which was half a gas station. <laughs> And there we on the side of the highway. What was it? Oilville? Yeah. Oil, Young Springs. Young Springs, yeah. And we just sat there, and it was just like, because we had met with other strategists before, people that were doing things. When we sat at that table, Alex and I were just like, this is the guy. This is him. This is the one. And then, do you want to share what you said that night? Because I'll tell it all. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Thank you. So he sat down that night, and he said, Everyone that comes to me, God brings them to me for a purpose. And I just felt peace around this thing. And I was just like, that is so God, because this is my first time doing this. Like, it's going to be strange and weird. Like, you sure you know what you're doing? And he's just like, oh, I know what I'm doing. Like, I'm good. And so, but it was just amazing. And to me, the biggest confirmation in this race that we were doing something right was John. He's been doing this for forever. He knows people. And so, and for me, it was just like every person that's been a part of this has also brought about a different area of healing in my life as well too. And so I haven't really had a mentorship of my father and John has been like oh, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll call like before we even do anything I'm like hey John what do you think? What's going on? What's going on? And, and his advice and his wisdom has just been amazing and his wife, his wife is She's just brilliant. Donna Darwin, tough as nails. <laughs> it's just brilliant. And so and having my sister Cheyenne as well too. Uh, come on over. Oh, it's okay. Um, her being in this race with us as well too. Like she has just been, okay, now this is what you need to do. Be ready. Like get yourself together. You're about ready to do this. I want to make sure she makes sure that I am sharp, that I'm on it. And I step out of the car to go do something. She goes, uh-uh. First impressions matter, ma'am. Go back and change. I was like, yes, I'm so sorry. And I'm a designer, but she had to catch me. So it has just been amazing. And, and looking at the numbers, it looks like we didn't win this race. But I've been saying to everyone, we've already won. Yeah, ma'am. We've already won. And we have already won. And we're not, we're not going to stop 
um, doing the things that's in my heart to do because we didn't win this race. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. And the kids in this district, the businesses are going to start, everything that's going on. This is just the beginning. So I thank you guys for being here. Thank you for pushing my life in the right direction. And Lee and, Lee and his yes, wife. And Lee and, and his wife. Come here. Come here. Come here. their home and they have opened up their house to us yeah. and so when Lee heard that I was running he's like girl come over we're gonna make a list we're gonna do this we're gonna do that and it's just been yeah. I tell you what there's so many people they're not always on the forefront but right. when they have your back it is amazing yeah. it is amazing yeah. so again thank you all so so much for being here I thank you all for your time we have won this okay. this is yeah. not over oh my god it's Sister Rhonda girl <laughs> signs and go get signatures and donating and everything so everyone in this room has done oh amazing my stuff. so oh my i could go around this entire room and it's just been like the sacrifice the giving the powerful awesome. words collecting signatures the prayers and everything it has just been awesome so i thank you guys so much for being here there's food there's going to be some music so please eat everything and then we're just going to hang out for a bit and then head on home but again thank you guys so i like to pray before we um commence and move on that's all good all right Okay. Uh, this, this is what I, I, I want to say, that I want to give God a nose of praise and thanks for victory. It's always certain and the steps of the righteous are ordered by God. And this has been an authentic movement of God because we've seen so many people have come alongside us and has helped us. It had to be a supernatural act of God. Yeah. So we know that God is up to something yeah. good. Yeah. And this is the start of it. So I want us to rejoice yeah. Yeah. and give God a note yeah. of praise and thanks yeah. for Thank his faithfulness. Lord. And the song say, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning new mercies I've seen. All that I've needed thy hands have provided. Great is thy faithfulness. And to see a demonstration of Cornelia in the midst of this whole entire thing has brought the body of Christ together. So we know that victory is certain and there is where we keep our focus. And if you would like me, do you yeah, want to pray? pray. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were already praying. That was like a free prayer. I was like, I was already in prayer. Lord, we want to thank you that there are no sad hearts here tonight. There is no spirit of disappointment because there is no shadow of turning with thee. Lord, you know, before I pray, let me tell you this. I told I'm in the kitchen, and God said, tell Cheyenne I am proud of her. Yes, yes. And I meant to tell her the phone rang, yes. and I was talking so many things when I got upstairs. Yes. It's a giant. God told me to tell you he was proud of you. And she raised her phone, and she said the brother and the sister-in-law just sent her the same message. Yeah. Amen. And you know what God Amen. does? Wow. He starts to make us feel faithful yeah. and the word of God so he that put in his hands to yeah. plow to not look back. So we know we've got bright days ahead. Yes. Father we want to thank you for your faithfulness dear God. For what you have done. It's not a work of a man's hands dear God. And there is no way dear God we can be silent without lifting our voices and giving you praise dear God. Lord we thank you dear God in this moment of integrity dear God. We thank you in this moment of walking their God in Cornelia and Lord forgiveness their God and strength and honor for we know it's you. I pray that you would bless everyone in this yes. mix here tonight. 
to know that you've brought us to the kingdom for such a time as this. Lord, I thank you, dear God, that we were able to take this hike and come out successfully, dear God. Lord, we did not flint, dear Father, and faithful are you who have begun a great work is able to complete it. Lord, as David spent his time watching the sheep, and when Samuel came, he knew it's time for David to come out. So, Lord, we know our times and seasons are in your hands, and we rest assured, faithful is he who has begun a good work, is able to complete it. And the joy of the Lord is our strength, and no weapon that form against us shall prosper, because greater is Christ who is in us than the enemy that's in the world. And we want to thank you for such a time as this. Let's give God a clap. Amen.